Are you ready? Are you ready to take a journey through the cosmos? Are you ready to see the dem- Alright, welcome to the spiritual vault, my brother. How are you today? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright, brother, thank you. Could you introduce yourself to our listening audience? We have a lot of fans here that listen to the spiritual vault. And they're curious about what we do and how we do it. So, I want you to start with introducing yourself from your spiritual name. Okay. My full name is Adinkra Henny Abun Sola. I'm a chief, but I'm also an African indigenous traditional healer, which is, you know, we, we use natural herbs. We do natural things uh, to heal people. We do rituals, we do readings, we do things like that. We help a lot of people. And, um, you know, I was introduced to this in 2011. So I've been doing it for a while. I got initiated by my wife. Okay. Uh, Wunan. So, you know, that's how, you know, that journey started. But my journey started long before then because I knew I was spiritual. But when I was young, we didn't talk about the things that everybody talks about now as far as being spiritual. So I thought, you know, maybe I was tripping or something was wrong with me because I was, that's how, you know, that journey started. But my journey started long before then because I knew I was spiritual, but when I was young, we didn't talk about the things that everybody talks about now as far as being spiritual. So I thought, you know, maybe I was tripping or something was wrong with me because I would see spirits. I would see certain things mm-hmm. um, that led me down this path. Okay, so go a little deep into it because I know most Africans in America they start with Christianity, mm-hmm. and Christianity is a form of spirituality. So when you said you were seeing ghosts or spirits and stuff like that, that was being spiritual within itself. Um, what was that experience like and how did your parents deal with that with you being spiritual um i've never i didn't really share my experiences with my with my with my parents you know um i started seeing spirits like when i was like five around five i would see spirits as a child but i never really told my mom what i saw and stuff like that so she probably thought maybe I was just being scared of the dark and stuff like that. But I would see things. I would see, I would see beings in the dark. I would see uh, little. I would see little short men. I used to always see this man would come to me when I was young, but he would just stand in the closet and watch me. And he always he had a hat, a top hat on. I would always jump up and I turn on the light and then I run and slam the door because I was scared. Mm-hmm. You know, and I didn't realize until I got older what, you know, what I was actually seeing. Um, I remember one time when I, I think I was about maybe nine, mm-hmm. my, maybe nine or ten. My grandfather had passed on my mom's side mm-hmm. and um, he came to me. But when he came to me, he was trying to tell me something and he was reaching out to tap me on my sh- But I was scared and I and I and I. um <laughs> cover myself with the covers and I scream. Are you ready? Are you ready to take a journey through the cosmos? Are you ready to see the dimensional doorways to reality? The original video recorders that we call eyes shows you that you are a true reflection of the universe and that the universe is you and you are 